a very interesting thing that you should follow in order for you to maximize your web traffic by leveraging social media such as Pinterest and of course Reddit. So here, what I want to show you guys, make.com is very special because it is the only automation at the moment that we can integrate Pinterest very easy. All right. Now using edit and we can create whatever type of automation or workflow as long as the service that we are using has the ability to call API or has the API. Now, Pinterest has API as well, but it's quite strict. You can just use their API, use your secret key, and then you can automate the creation of your pin. So far, only make.com can automate the creation of your pin. That's why you had to leverage make.com just for Pinterest if you have a free account in, in make.com because you are limited to 1,000 operations only. And if you utilize those 1,000 operations in Pinterest alone, then you will be able to attract more traffic by creating the pins in automated way, just like what I'm doing here. So 30 to 40% of my traffic of my Amazon affiliate earnings came from Pinterest. So as you can see right here, the previous month, it's been pretty wild. We've got a revenue of 5,320. And I know this is quite disappointing. We know all that Amazon will only provide little percentage, as you can see right here. We've made all this massive revenue, but we only got 162. So what I suggest, if you are going to do this automation that I'm going to share you, make sure it's your own product so that most of the profit margin here will be yours and you will be satisfied or get some affiliate products that will provide you at least 20%, not this 3%, 2%, 1%. What is that, guys? So imagine if you can only have just 20% of this 5,320, then you will have at least $1,000 from this revenue right here. Or if this is your own product and let's say you have a profit margin of 50%, then you will have $2,600 in your account monthly. All right. So now what I'm going to show you is all the automation that you do here. You make it in NAN. And then to connect the creation of PIN, we will have make that come to do that. So I want to show you how you will be able to connect this automation right here. And then when this runs, it will automatically create a pin using webhook here in make.com. And you'll be able to automate this. I'm going to show you some example why I'm getting significant traffic from Pinterest. As you can see, the creation of my pins right here. We've got, look at this, 5,000 impressions, 1.3K impressions, 562 impressions. So this is just from one board. So you can have multiple. And I am also leveraging Reddit, as you all know. As you can see, in the notifications, people are actually responding to the post that we have right here. So here, we're going to take this one of my subreddit right here, which is best cooker. What happens here is it creates content using NAN right here. This is a self-hosted NAN, so you will have unlimited operations. I'm using the free trial of Railway to host my NAN because in Railway, you will get $5 credit once you create your new account. I'm not an affiliate of this, so you just go ahead to Railway and create your free account. You will get $5 that's good enough for one month, so you can do all your automations right here and then deploy your and application, then you'll be able to create this. So. Just to give you an overview, this is creating me an article using Article AI Generator. Again, guys, you don't have to use this. If you know something else which can provide you the automation requirements to create an article, feel free to use that. But in my case, I'm just going to use this because it has this image size that I can pass right here to create a optimized size for Pinterest. So I'm going to use the 9 by 16. I will pass this parameter. It's already set up here. So as you can see, I'm calling the AI create article right here and I'm passing all the required parameter right here. Don't worry about the secret key. I can easily reset that here in the, my app secret key in article AI. So it's okay for me to expose that, but it will create me the article and then post it directly to my WordPress at the same time to my Reddit. We need a WordPress because we don't want to direct link any of this article because we want to have the Amazon link 
in our WordPress so that our subreddits will be safe. All right, Reddit one, take down our subreddits. Now I want to add one automation because this right here will just create me a subreddit post. As you can see right here, if you want, guys, you can comment down below. I can export this. If you want to use this blueprint, just let me know in the comment below. Here, I am posting this to my WordPress at the same time to my Reddit account right here. Uh, Reddit, I'm using the circuitai.online automation helper so I can easily create a post. So you can do that by going to circuitai.online and here you have the Reddit automation. So you will just need to create HTTP request in your N8N and, and pass all these details. So it's very easy to follow. That's what I did here. And then I'm getting the title, the automation details from this spreadsheet right here. As you can see, most of them are at the top are done means they are created in Reddit. And here are the following keywords that we will be creating articles and then passing that to our Reddit and then create the link to our Amazon. So that's how this automation works. Now we want to connect that to Reddit, which we can insert here. So we're going to delete the connection here and then click this add. Here we're going to type HTTP request. And here in the HTTP request, we will set that as post. Now the URL, we will create a webhook right here in make.com. So this is how you're going to do that. Create a webhook just like this one and then select this custom webhook to receive data. All right, select that. Now here, you have got to click this add and name your webhook. Suppose you have several so that you don't get confused and it and Pinterest. So I'm just going to name it like that and click on save. All right, that's the only thing you need to do. Now copy this address, click this copy address. Now go back to your N8N and paste that in the URL. Now send query parameters. So these query parameters, what do we need to post to Pinterest. So we will need the image URL, which coming from the article AI generator. So again, I'm going to modify the article AI generator to add a parameter because I'm generating an image here, but it's 16 by nine. I want the image size to be optimized for Pinterest. So I'm going to pass this parameter and add that here. And I'm going to say nine by 16 as mentioned here, nine by 16. So here we're going to pass this value 9 by 16. We're going to add that parameter and this will generate our article as well as the Pinterest size image. All right. Now we're going to pass the image URL. So I have used some image URL here. Let me just grab that so that I know how to pass this because this one is the image URL that we will pass to make that come and we need the value. All right. We need the value. We are using the image URL here when posting to our WordPress. So you can use the same. So you need to copy this, just copy this. All right, because this is the one we're utilizing already. Now come back here to the node. Let's paste that right there and make sure you select it as expression. All right. So here, that's the item one we will pass to Pinterest. What else? We will pass the WordPress URL because when we create a pin on Pinterest, let's say for example, this one, this pin right here, we will have this link right here. You see this button visit site. That means we have the link right there. So we got to pass the created WordPress post. Now going back to how we post it to Reddit, we set up the WordPress post right here. Let me just find it. I think it's here in the article AI generator. So as you can see here, since we know our WordPress URL, itrendworld.com, and then the slug. So that means it is from uh, this one, the slug column right here. So once this content got created, automatically this will be the slug because that's how the WordPress format the slug. Let's say this is the first time it creates this content. It will just add hyphen in between of the spaces to create a slug or the path of your WordPress post. So that's what we're going to pass, which we already have here. So we don't need this uh, value. We just need the URL because this is what Pinterest is accepting. So we copy this and come back here. So we paste that again, select expressions and we paste that right there. Now here, as you can see, JSON, and this one is HTTP request. We cannot use JSON because 
it's not the previous workflow or the previous step that we're using. Here, we are just using, we are connecting it as JSON right here because the data from here, it's just the previous step. But if the data is coming from here and the destination of the data will not be the next step, you will have to reference it just by doing this. So we will just copy this. So as you can see, item and then JSON. So the dollar sign here will be replaced by all this thing right here. So we copy this and then we replace the dollar with all those. All right. So as you can see, we've got the replacement now. Now, how do we know that this is the HTTP request? Because we have multiple HTTP right here. So it is the name itself. Here, as you can see, you can actually rename this. But if you rename it, so this one, so you will need to change all the referencing. So if the data is coming from here, then I will need to use this HTTP request too. So here I'm using HTTP request because I know the data will be coming from here. That is a good point. We need to correct this because the item slot, this one slot will be from our Google Sheet. So that means we have to use this Google Sheets. All right. So we got to grab the name, copy, and then come back here. We will need to replace this with Google Sheet because that's where it's coming from. So same format. This is how you reference the data. If you want to pass the data to the value of this current step. So this is how you're going to reference by name of the steps right here. So if it's coming from Google Sheets, then pass that using this name, Google Sheets, that item, that JSON, and then the value that you're getting. All right. Once you start using this, you will get familiarized on the mapping of N8N. We need the title, pin title. All right. So the pin title will just be the our keyword, which we can get from how, how we pass it to our WordPress. So see right here. So we gonna grab this. This is from Particle AI Generator already. So the title will be in camel case, which is suitable for our pin title. Again, have this as expression and then paste that right there. So it's refer the first HTTP request here. It's all the data we will get once our article has been generated from article AI generator. So what else we need to create a pin will be the description. We can leave that blank for now, but sometimes I'll just put the description same as the title. So I'll just add another parameter pin description. I'll just grab the same value. So make sure this is expression. All right. Now, I think the data that we will need to pass here in our automation is complete. This is all the data we need. Now we're going to connect that to the last step. That me, this is just basically to mark the status in our spreadsheet as done so that it will move to the next item right here. So I think that's all we need. Now we're going to go back to set up our make that com to post that to our Pinterest. So save this. Now here again, we will only utilize make.com to create our Pinterest post so that we can save our operations because make.com is quite special. It is the only automation platform that can directly connect to your Pinterest account. So I'm gonna choose Pinterest and then click this create pin. Now you will need to connect your Pinterest account. So if you haven't done that, so click this add and here make a connection to your Pinterest account. So here, since we know the board that we are going to use, so we will post all the pins in this board right here, best cooker, but I just named my connection to be my Pinterest profile name. So going back here, click on uh, save and then select your Google account where you want to connect it and then click give access. There you go. You're connect. Now here, the source type will be image URL and then the URL the data coming from here. So this is how you got to reference the data. So this is in make.com. As you can see, this is the first step, which is one. So here it's quite different on how you're going to reference in make.com from N8N. So what you're going to just need to do is this curly bracket and then put the number of step, which is one and then dot. And then what is the name of the field that we set up on N8N? So that is image URL. So we're going to copy this head back here, just type it like that and then close that. So that's how you're going to reference. So this will pass the image URL and then the board will be best cooker. 
word section you you can leave that title is the pin title so again double curly bracket and then one dot pin title pin title because that's how you name it here so as you can see here in na10 pin title and close that and then description will be one dot pin description what else do we need the url you will create a link so that is one dot wordpress url and all this will be the data coming from the automation here so make sure you map them correctly and then save this so that's it just two operations per run so it will save a lot of your operations in your make.com especially when you're just in the free plan again i want to use make.com only for pinterest because it has the direct integration now it should create my pin when i run this automation send the webhook data to make.com and make sure you enable this immediately data has arrives so that means it, this will trigger once this automation calls the webhook all right save this integration webhooks pinterest so that's the name you save this scenario and then you enable this all right and then make sure you have it set as immediately so that when the automation happens on n8 and this will immediately triggered so save that so i think that's it so what happens is this will create this content right here the title let's run this now so as you can see it's now creating our uh, article so as you can see this step right here where we pass the data to the web who got ticked so our make.com should receive that data now let's see we go back here and then uh, there you go as you can see success it means it received the data then we should expect the new Pinterest pin in the board so go to your Pinterest and here click this best cooker and there you go guys this is our pin right here also as you can see the keyword and we have the visit site so when you click the visit site so this is the WordPress post we have the short version of the article and the long version should be posted here in our reddit you can see that so three minutes ago so that's our new post right there when you open this and there you go guys so we have the link to our pricing right here the same link where we go to the wordpress website so you click this so same thing the long version will be posted here in our reddit so it gets ranking pretty easy and then we will have our link here so all the configuration set up here in article ai generator as you can see here we've got the ads link which is the check pricing that you see and placement every two paragraph and this is with short version that is the version we are posting in our wordpress this is just as as acting as your landing page because you have the link here going to the amazon all right because we don't want to do direct linking so we want to direct it to our site and there we have all the affiliate link in our site so this is the pin created just by passing the data from any end because here we have the unlimited operations and we are saving the operations in our make.com just for Pinterest so you leave it open you leave it running so the configuration is immediately once it receives data it will process this automation and you have this edit and running so of course if your automation you're satisfied with the automation make that active and you just need to keep adding keywords here in your uh, automation template spreadsheet Hopefully you get some insight from this video and if you have some questions you can contact me or leave your question in the comment below. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.